The United States says it's tested a system using a missile to knock an ICBM out of the sky. Though Washington singled out no specific country in its report, it'll have gotten North Korea's attention for sure. Kim Jong-soo has the details. A bullet hitting a bullet. That's how experts describe a potentially successful interception of an ICBM. Prior to conducting its simulation on May 30th at California's Vandenberg Air Force Base, the Missile Defense Agency of the U.S. Pentagon refrained from saying that it was 100 percent confident about the test's success, and for good reason. Its so-called ground-based mid-course defense system had an unstable track record leading up to Tuesday's test firing, intercepting only 9 out of 17 targets mid-air. What's more, previous tests had used slower projectiles, while the latest test used a mock projectile that was intentionally engineered to fly at speeds faster than an average ICBM. But on Tuesday at around 2 p.m., the MDA said it had achieved a, quote, direct collision of the mock ICBM while it was flying through the exosphere above the Pacific Ocean. According to the agency, the mock ICBM was launched from a test site in the Marshall Islands, about 7,500 kilometers from the Vandenberg base, which served as the launch site for the ground-based interceptor. It's not too different from the distance between North Korea and the U.S., which is 9,000 kilometers. Still, some experts have expressed doubts about the real-life applicability of the interceptor, saying that North Korea is capable of developing additional support missiles that can confuse interceptors making it harder for them to hit their target. Addressing such skepticism, the MDA has re-emphasized the multiple layers of its defense system, saying that its ground-based interception system is just stage two of a consolidated three-stage system. The first stage involves SM-3 missiles launched from Aegis destroyers, and if the ICBM makes it through stages one and two, it will be met with Patriot missiles and THAAD interceptors. Meanwhile, various Chinese media outlets such as CCTV and the Xinhua News Agency also appear to be taking a keen interest in the test, saying that it reflects how Washington is continuously aware of the North's missile capacities. Kim Jong-soo, Arirang News.